she's gonna eat the bag for you. She's gonna try to dart in any minute. here at the softball fields because today is Lydia's first softball game of the whole season. So, Ethan, how do you feel? Uh, really excited to spend all of our hours here? No. No, it's fun. It's, it was actually less fun when she was little and even though it was cute, it was harder to like watch because it was just like a bunch of misses. Like there was no action in the game. Now there's tons of action. There's lots of hits and cool plays. You like these cool goggles? You guys know Kevin wears motorcycle goggles because he's really sensitive to light. Guess you shouldn't have lived in Arizona then because we have constant light. So here we are. At fields. Hey guys, good afternoon. Kevin is building me a gate, so I'm super, super excited about it. Building me a heavy duty gate for my garden. And so we're trying to take this down and work on it. And we've got lots of little helpers, so that's fun. She's, she's gonna eat the bag for you. She's gonna try to dart in any minute. She's just gonna be lazy and hang out. We've got a couple other ones over here. So lots of helpers, lots of helpers. Oh my gosh, honey, I've got three of them over here trying to get in. I know they're all just looking at me. If I can just, if I can just shut this a little bit, yeah. then I can help you hold it. All right, so how do you wanna do it? Let's see, do you want me to just drill a hole in here? Or would you rather have it like this? Yeah, I think I'd rather have it like that. Oh, no, you could just do a hole in it. Do a hole in it, that's cool. <clears throat> so many helpers, just. Okay, so where do you want this pole? Um, let's see. Well, let's see, okay, let's, the goats are gonna push on it, so you always want the posts on this side. Okay, yeah, like that, that's good. Hold on, we gotta give this, this grub to the chickens. Hopefully they'll see it when I throw it. Chick, 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 chickens. Oh, she saw it, she saw it. She got it. I'm like turning the camera, trying to get it to go that way. <laughs> That's how I'm helping. That's perfect. Just needs to be in like six more inches. All right guys, let's see if you can see if Doris is getting bigger. Hey, don't be offended, Doris. We're just trying to see if you're getting more pregnant. You look bigger to me. You feel bigger, huh? So Doris is due to have triplets. We're thinking there's three. Um, two, possibly three. Most goats usually have two, and so you can tell they're having three if they're really lopsided as they get bigger. Looking pretty even. So we'll see, we'll know more as she gets bigger. All right, we're gonna water the base of these plants because I'm noticing that out here, um, right when the sun's kind of bearing down on it, there's a little bit of wiltiness going on. So that lets me know that, you know, these roots are kind of young and we're gonna go ahead and just water it right here in the middle of the day. It's a little bit warm today, guys. We got cool and then we got warm. So these cucumbers are trying to hang in there. And you really want to avoid watering on the leaves. I just did that right there, but you want to avoid that because when it's in full sun like this, you don't want those little water droplets to kind of burn, magnify and burn the leaves. So we just want to make sure they're not super stressed. So water, mulch, and a little tender loving care to get these guys to do good. So while Kevin's working on that fence, I'm gonna show you guys what we did in the shed. So Kevin worked really hard making this really cool sliding pegboard. Okay, there it is. So he just kinda got one of those closet uh, rolling racks. He had to actually cut it down so that it wouldn't go over the two by four. But now it completely slides just the way we want it to. And I just dumped over all of the screws. But anyway, 
yeah, so it works out really good. And then all I really need to do now is kind of start organizing the tools. So first things first, I'm gonna head over here. I'm gonna get all of these tools and I'm going to start figuring out which ones are the ones we use all the time. And so which ones are we gonna put on that pegboard? Oh, it looks so good. It's your new gate. There's my new gate. You like it? Cool. The chicken's gonna go through there. Yep, we gotta cover it up. Go in and see if it works. Yes. Door. What do you think, Tilly? What do you think? Do you like it? Huh? Don't you love how they wag their tails? Can you wag your tail for me? No. Nope. Mm, look at that. Oh, well, I better put something over there so she can't get her head in. Oh my gosh. They just like so want to just, they want to get in here so bad. All right, guys, it's the end of the day. So I've been kind of organizing our tools in a way that just makes sense in my head. All right. So I was able to put all the tools that I think we use pretty frequently on the pegboard, on the sliding pegboard. And then I just have, um, we're gonna build, tomorrow we're gonna build these shelves underneath here. And we're gonna start storing a lot of the just different oddball tools that we have. And then a bunch of the paint and caulking and all these different products that we've got. So what's cool is that this slides it's pretty heavy though, so we're gonna put a track on the bottom as well so it stays out to where it's supposed to stay out. And then we'll be able to store stuff back behind there too, but we also did something kind of cool. We put um, a little board here and we've just put all this little trim and molding and all these different things and we're gonna put little scrap pieces of wood for working on projects and stuff, so pretty cool. So that is it for tonight. I hope you guys all have a great day. We're going to work on more organizing tomorrow, and then we're going to also do some more fall planting in the garden. So that is it. See you later. Bye.